Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gravi Robert here, uh, bringing you another tutorial today. Kind of a short one. Um, today we're going to be talking about the history brush, uh, just for, I mean, photo manipulations, retouching, different stuff like that. Um, like I said, it'll be a very quick one. Uh, people have kind of always wondered what the history brush is. I don't see many people using it. Um, and it's kind of a neat little tool. I'll be doing more short little tutorials similar to this on different um, tools and techniques to use in Photoshop. Um, so getting started, um, I'm going to pull up my uh, history. So I have that on the side here. I have my history brush selected. Um, the art history brush is similar. I'll, I'll kind of explain that, but the main one is just the history brush there. So I'm just using a stock image here that I took. I duped the layer. Um, and what I'll show for an example, I'm going to uh, put a Gaussian blur on here. I'll put a really ridiculous one just so you guys can see um, how the tool comes into effect. So I have that layer. I put on the blur. Um, and then I'm going to select, since I did this move, this Gaussian Blur on this layer, uh, right next to on right next to that move on uh, the, the history there, I'm going to put that, click that right there so it remembers this move, and then you click back to the previous layer, or the previous move, but it's keeping that information for that move right there. Um, so I have this, I'm gonna increase my brush, brush size. Um, and with the history brush selected, and since it knows to go to this one, if I paint in that area either, either using a mouse or, right now I'm using a mouse, normally I use a tablet. But wherever I paint, it's gonna, the history brush is gonna pick up the information from that previous move. Um, I use this for the Gaussian Blur a lot of times uh, just because if the, the big one is like for skies and stuff, um, if I make adjustments in the sky color, I have to go back slightly and add a blur. Obviously this blur is really extreme, um, but this allows for you to kind of use that Gaussian Blur but to go back and pick where you want to use it at. You can use this for any type of move if you're to do anything you can hit the history brush on there, go back to the previous layer and then, or previous move, and then go on the layer and bring back that history. With the um, art history brush, it's mainly for, <clears throat> I don't really ever use it that much, but it's more for like stylized brush brushes and you kind of get different it, it kind of gives like a painterly effect to some of them it's kind of hard to explain um, not really something that I use a whole lot I mean I'm sure there's a good use for it um, but it kind of you can kind of see the effect but that's with the blur on so you might just want to play around with it but yeah that's kind of it for the history brush um, thanks again for watching. Leave a comment, like, share. Let me know uh, if there's any specific tools or techniques that you guys want to know, um, and I'll definitely create a tutorial on that. Thanks again for watching.